Morning, guys. So, here's my response to all you out there who say, Oh, I would love to have some type of veggies and chickens, but I just don't have the space. Let me tell you how you do have the space. Check out this little itty bitty area. So, this can't be no more than maybe 15 by 8. If you have a patio, you can do this. You don't even need grass, but if you have grass, great. So as you can see, I just so happen to have two tires of potatoes and this is pumpkins. But look how teeny this little chicken coop house is. This chicken coop, now it was given to me, but I believe they're on sale online, online for $99. So this holds five chickens comfortably. Um, I just chose to make this little outdoor enclosure out of some spare wood and chicken wire I had. But there's a little door on the back, a nesting box, you can grab the eggs, you never even have to deal with them. So if you have that much space, oh also a lot of folks think that you need a rooster to have eggs. No. So I just choose to have a rooster but if if you can't have a rooster in your area, don't get one. Just get um, some chickens, uh, maybe two, three. Get yourself maybe three eggs a day. Um, so without a rooster, you would have unfertilized chicken eggs. That, that's fine. It's, you eat fertilized and unfertilized. You, you never know the difference. You do get a rooster, you're going to have fertilized eggs. So this way, if you wanted to incubate them, you definitely could. So... For all y'all out there that say you don't have the space, if you have this this much space, look how little that is. That much space, you got a whole you got a whole teeny little homestead. You can plant whatever you want, and you got eggs. Make it happen. Ma'am has something going on with her respiratory. So Miss Ma'am's getting a little bit of vet RX. I put it in the water, but it's you know it's just not it's just not taking good enough, so oh she's heavy. You're a big girl, aren't you? Come on. Oh, I missed. There you go. Slow it down. It's all right. Can you hear her breathing? She has a little cold, something like that. So, uh, medicine time. <laughs> So a couple weeks, not weeks, maybe a week and a half ago, I came through and cleaned up the garden and I cut down the lettuce to some weird looking stumps. Just cut them down like so. Not sure if they would grow back, but that actually worked. They're growing back. So these little stumps that I cut are growing anew. Um, so don't be afraid to cut your stumps because they definitely come back. Um, here's some that I cut. These were the first ones that I cut and they're they're coming back beautifully so uh I was just gonna yank them completely out so glad I didn't do that um because they're coming back so that that just helps with the uh feeding the rabbits let's call 
I'm trying to sneak up on the pigs to show you that he keeps nursing off of her. I don't know if she had the babies and we missed them and she ate them or if she's going to have them soon. But um, he keeps drinking her milk. So I don't know what's going on with that. Hey, what you doing? You got milk all around your mouth? You have a milk mustache? Hmm? I noticed a uh, homegirl. I have a good massage. Come on. That feel good.